my, 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 Gemini. It is I. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of October 2020. Show me the monthly energy. Yes, God. Shout out to every last one of you, all my OGs, all my newbies. Every last one of you guys who has clicked, liked, shared, and subscribed to any one of these videos. Y'all know my birthday is coming up on October the 25th, which is Sunday. So if there's anyone that would like to book any readings, that would like to send any birthday love or well wishes, you guys can connect with me on Instagram or on Google Hangouts. It's a free, easy app to download. The only thing that you need to connect with me on Google Hangouts is my email, which is scorpionrez at gmail.com. And again, and if you guys just want to say happy birthday or if you want to connect with me to book a reading, the best way to get in contact with me is to send me a message to um, Instagram Messenger, okay? And all of that information is in the About tab and in the description, okay? So, Jim and I, we're going to get into this energy today. Um, of course, we're going to give praise and thanks to Father God above. So let's just bow our head and just give praise real quick. So Father God, we thank you for bringing us here today collectively as a unit. Father God, we thank you so much for helping us be intuitive, helping us like learn how to trust our intuition because sometimes, you know, we'll get our intuition our into our intuitive guidance but then we'll still ask questions and we'll still doubt what we're thinking and things like that and it's like when it's all said and done no matter who we question who we ask it always goes back to what our gut told us in the first place so father god we thank you so much for helping us fine tune this intuition um we're in a safe place in our life right now we're very comfortable we're very vibrant. We feel very beautiful in our life right now. So we want to just continue to express this thanksgiving. Father God, we thank you for giving everything that we have. Um, we just not waiting for November to come to just say thank you for giving. We, we, we thank you for giving because we sure thank you for receiving, Father God. So we thank you for um, all of the magical energies that surround us at this moment is helping us to be strong. It's helping us to be determined and to fight for our glory because they don't know our story, Father God. So, Father God, please give us guidance today and every day for the sign of Gemini. My, my, my. We are so fly. All right. So, Father God, give us guidance for Gemini for June. Ooh, June. What happened in June, honey? October. What happened in June? Ooh, what happened in June, y'all? Oh, <laughs> I want to be nosy. I want to be nosy. I, I want to be nosy. I, 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 I want to be nosy. Because I want to see what happened in June, y'all. <laughs> so, we about to give Gemini a little treat, treat, treat. I'm going to see what happened. Listen, more fire. More fire. I need to use these cards more. I don't know why I don't use these cards more. So we gonna find out what happened in June, guys. What happened a while back in love for my Gemini? Queen? What happened in the past? Cause it help us understand the future. Give me one oracle to clarify. Mm. Ooh not feeling enough mm. so that's what happened back in june honey looks like y'all was a little frustrated in a love situation you had to reassess yourself readjust yourself you understand push them bosoms up a little bit like hold on bitch i got enough up in these cups honey who the fuck they think they talking to bitch like listen i will not be frustrated over nobody that don't see my worth i'm a blessing from the mother earth boy you better go on the fuck somewhere okay what did it say? Frustration in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, ego issues, jealousy. Listen, jealousy, that must not be what they telling me, honey. We ain't jealous. We ain't got nothing to be jealous about. We don't compare what we don't compete with. But you know what? Sometimes people can make you feel like 
what you're giving isn't enough and you can't start to second doubt um second guess and doubt yourself and um don't never allow nobody to do that don't don't ever allow nobody to bring those storms to your parade you know what i'm saying so let's see we got the six of hearts all right all right we got the joker and then okay we got the 808 heartbreak oh ooh, ooh. But why is the 808 on the stone 808 you listen y'all remember um oh what song is playing in my head don't say you will mm. don't say you will oh my god what is the words Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh, I can't remember the words. Y'all turn on that Kanye West, don't say you will. Okay, so listen, this is the Six of Hearts. The Six of Hearts represents the masculine energy. Um, you could be dealing with someone that has um, like facial hair. Um, just very masculine. They could wear like... Um, a tie or a business suit or something or like always if they don't have a tire or, or something or like they could always have like some jewelry around their neck or something like that something that kind of defines their masculism you know what I'm saying like a Jesus piece or something like that basically what I'm getting here is like I feel like you're moving on in faith it's like don't say you will and then you won't you know what i'm saying like don't don't say you will be there for me and that you'll provide a certain amount of love like the chemistry the doting the courting like all of that type of stuff and then it's like you running away with something else it's like 808 808 heartbreak i just Okay, hold on. Let me um clarify what the six of hearts mean. Because I know it means like the masculine energy, but there's like other, it's other stuff too. The six of hearts represents a love relationship, a friendship, emotional security, gallantry, yeah, courage, faith, trust, compassion, an emotional connection, a past life or soul connection, the masculine energy, a male lover. A brother, a son, a bachelor, an unmarried man, anything generally associated with the male gender, such as a toolbox, a tie, facial hair, etc. Okay? So, again, like, this is a man that came into your life that might have been courting you. Like, you guys, like it says, the Six of Cups, you guys could have known each other from your childhood or something. It, it feels like something that should have been a very much of a give and take situation but something here is triggering your fears your ego it's like there is some type of frustration in this relationship where i don't know if you yourself is you know having self sabotory behavior or something like that because you're feeling like you're not enough i honestly i don't I'm not getting right here that this person is doing anything to make you feel like you're not enough. This is the Jack of Clubs. Like, the Jack of Clubs is, like, a very hard worker. Like, this person is really focused on their work. If anything, the Jack of Clubs could be popular. That could make you feel like, you know, because the Jack of Clubs is, like, right under the king. So, like, let's say in a club, a group set in a neighborhood or something, like, he could be one of the top three or four most popular people in the group. Like, you that bitch if you got one of the top three. You know what I'm saying? And, like, he's one of the top three. You see what I'm saying? So, it's like he has, like, a high-ranking status in whatever organization this is or something like that. So... What's going on with this Joker, though? What, like, why? I, it's, it's something that is beating your spirit about this masculine energy that is making you feel like you're not enough. And 
like this I feel like you're going backwards I mean clearly I feel like we all weed smokers here you know what I'm saying clearly I don't pulled out the weed card so you definitely must be a weed smoker clarify this joker for me please clarify this joker I was just trying to do like a quick little something but y'all done got me the seven of so okay so what this is basically saying to me is you're trying to continue to move on in faith and have something to hold on to i feel like you you feel lucky like the seven of diamonds is like winning the jackpot or like winning the lottery or something or like a big purchase item like this man could have just bought you a car or something like that to like show you that you're enough that he loves you like you still could be feeling like you're not enough or it's like like I don't get it like I feel like someone might have bought you a car back in June in good faith and love to show you that they love you to show you that they care about you um because people don't do stuff like that for people that they don't care it's like they can see you as a star they can see you as special they can see you as something worth putting the time the energy and the effort into um but i feel like you do demonstrate some level of self saboteur behavior here with this person and i i don't i don't understand why let's get into this so clearly i'm doing y'all's reading a tad bit different from this because we done got into something else like why would you not feel good enough my dear i don't understand that what's the current energy of the gemini please I honor my body's needs. I honor my body's needs. Give me one more. Oh, shit. Take it one day at a time. All right. So. Okay, it just said depression. Okay. Bipolar depression. Okay. I she loaded. So, I really do feel like someone may suffer from... I don't even think it's real bipolar depression. That's I, 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 I feel I don't know how you can have self-inflicted bipolar depression. I feel like someone is making their self feel this way. Um I just don't understand why. Because I feel like this person is being chivalrous. They're, like these are good cards. These are like not bad cards. It's like I feel like someone gave you a token of affection and faith to show you that they love you, that they are good enough. Stop being so jealous. Stop letting your pride and your ego get in the way where you're self-sabotaging this relationship. Like, honor what your body needs and want. And honestly, I feel like if your emotions are going up and down, up and down, I feel like you need to talk to this Jack of Clubs. Because this Jack of Clubs is a good person, you guys. Like, he's, he's not... A bad person like I feel like if you was to just talk to this person about some of the things that's going on with you like he will understand a little bit more listen the jack of clubs hard-working honest a young sincere person he is busy an active young person most often a male very clever and enterprising he enjoys sports he may participate in school or community football basketball baseball or soccer he can represent an employee and can often denote or represent um an acquaintance from work he could be a close friend a business associate he is he is useful to the inquirer in some way he may wear a uniform or symbolize his rank in a work situation so like i said like this person is doing what they need to do in this situation um and I believe the seven of diamonds is like I said, the seven of diamonds is financial achievements, reward, recognition, earned success, steady improvement, efforts rewarded, lucky money, wins, a pay raise, improved prospects, a nest egg, 
financial investment, stocks and bonds, e-trading. Like I said, so it's like... If this person comes into money, he he may give it to you. Like this person is working tirelessly to get you to trust him. I feel like you just need to take it one day at a time. And I feel like you need to listen to your body's needs. If your body is feeling that anxiety running up in it, listen to your body and, and ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? Did this person do something to make me feel this way? Or am I just being triggered by my own anxiety? I feel like someone may need to. And it's not nothing bad, y'all. Because I swear I swear on my life. Sometimes I be feeling like my crazy ass bipolar sometimes. Shit. Like, have you ever just woke up and you just sad for no reason? And like, you just don't know why. You know what I'm saying? And people may ask you, like, why are you sad? You really don't know why. Only thing I can do is right now is honor what my body needs right now. My body needs a hug. I woke up this morning. I felt sad. Or I got triggered by something and now I'm upset. So I just need a vent. Or you know what I'm saying? It's like. Because I feel like. There's someone trying to overcompensate to make you feel better about your your insecurities. What's causing this insecurity, please, Gemini? Ooh. The seven of wands. So it's like I feel like the um, it's like not knowing how to walk away from a fight. It's like you very easily allow people to penetrate your bubble. You know what I'm saying? It's like um, people may be always attacking you or accusing you of something. And it's just like, I feel like you're tired of fighting. And it's like, you still don't know how to find. Remember, we were talking about a safe place. This person does can't find a safe place because it's just like. It's always something. And I feel like it trickles down into this person's relationship. It's like where they're not feeling good enough for some reason. And you got another seven, the seven of cups. So it's like this person is tired of making the wrong choices. These are like singing bowls and things like that. So it's like you, this person might have had a whole bunch of options in the past that... Um, they all seem glamorous and good, but you might not have known nothing about no singing bowl. So you might have been tapping the bowls on the side, but you ain't know what the fuck you was listening to to know which one was quality or not. So you might have just picked anything. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, um, and it's like now you're in a state where it's like you're confused because it's like I thought I picked the right thing. Seven, seven, seven. It's like I thought I did the right thing. Um, like, why am I being attacked for choosing what I thought was best for me or what sound good to me? I think you you choose, you picked which would sound good instead of what felt good. And now you're in a situation that doesn't feel good. And now you want to feel good. And even though this person is trying to give shit to you to try to make you feel good, it's still not enough. Because I feel like you should have selected a different bowl or something. Now I'm feeling like it's not that you're not enough for them. I feel like they're not enough for you. I don't feel like you knew what you were listening to or what you were selecting. It's like you didn't know anything about singing bowls. You know what I'm saying? And you picked some shit that a serpent came out of it or some shit. Could you see the little serpent and shit? You see how confused he is about which one to pick and shit? It's just like, I don't fucking know. Just pick one. You know what I'm saying? Like... The world. Okay, so 
you've gone through, I feel like you've gone through cycles in your life where you've just been confused at a moment's time because you, you selected something and you thought something sound right, you thought something felt right, but at the end of the day, I feel like it brought you more conflict than it brought you happiness. And no matter how handsome the person is, no matter how popular the person is, no matter how many cars they give you, no, mo no matter how many gifts they give you, or how lucky it may seem to other people it is, like it's something in this situation that just makes you feel lack in some way. You still feel frustrated in this relationship. It may seem good to everyone else, but I got to honor my body's needs and take it one day at a time because it's something about these cycles that just keep repeating itself. And you're not trying to keep making the wrong selection no more. I feel like you really want to fine tune your hearing and listen this time. Like you want to understand what the singing bowls are what sound you're supposed to be hearing so you can make sure that you're doing the right thing. I just think that you might have got a lot of people coming after you or attacking you because of who you selected, because of this person's popularity, because of this person's rank or stature or something like that. Um... And I want to say I feel like you're tired of it. And you could be just taking it one day at a time. But I want, I want to say that you love this person though. But it's just like I didn't know that all of this was going to come with this. And you might be smoking a lot of weed right now to like de-stress. De um, the Joker is like... But I, it's like but in faith, still like a fool. It's like I still love you, though. And I'm still putting up with this, with this bullshit. Because like the Seven of Wands is like your guard being down right now. Because I don't want to fight no more. It's like I, I don't want to fight no more. It's not like you're having your guard down in a bad way. It's like, I don't want to fight anymore. Like, why, why am I going to have to keep walking around with my guard up? Like, I don't want to have to go through this conflict for something that is mine. I feel like, is this... I feel like someone, people hate you because of who you're with. Because of your selection. And it feels like a burden on you. It feels like... It's like, the, it's like, how can I rest in my bubble in my relationship where it's always a constant threat of some competition? Like, bitches making up shit about me, saying that they seen me with this person and I was doing it, so I was doing that. Or bitches coming to me, telling me that they don't see my man with this person or this and that person. Or people just trying to just go all the way out the way to compete with me. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you could be around this club, this group of people, right? And it's like these bitches just, just being extra thirsty to try to stun on you, maybe trying to steal the attention away from you and shit. And it's like, you are so confused. It's just like, what the fuck is going on here? Are these bitches drunk? Y'all high? Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I have never seen someone act like this. And it may be giving you some type of anxiety or something like that. You're just frustrated. And it's like, I don't even feel like you're normally like a non-confident person. But it's like when you're constantly being... When you constantly see women or men throwing themselves at your man or your woman. When you, you know, you're constantly seeing people throwing themselves at you, at you or your person. And... It's a constant threat. It's a constant. It just. It will start to get at you. After a while. But I feel like this man. Ain't really paying attention to them. Like. He's not.
this world card represents okay you got the world card and then you got the eclipse mermaid so this is tens these are both like completions and endings and stuff moving into a new phase and a new cycle what i want you to do right now is to really see how gifted you are and how lucky you are because I'm going to keep it 100. The seven of cups in the upright is someone that is confused, that has many options, and that is worried about making the wrong choice. The seven of cups in the reverse is when all of the other options have gone away. Shit has cleared up. There's no confusion. There's no drunkenness. There's no high. They are sober. They know that they might have made the mistake last time. They know that everything don't that glitters ain't gold. They know to take time to make a wise selection you see what I'm saying so I don't think that you selected wrong and this jack of clubs they knew who they were selecting like it's like even if people try to come to them with rumors and gossip and all of this bullshit this person know about you they know who you were so it's like I don't even feel like you got and, 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 and I want to say stop trying to defend yourself it's time to move past this chapter and to move on. It's time for a powerful energy shift. Stop allowing these people to bring the darkness out of you where you feel like you got to fight and compete or people making you feel like they're not good. You're not good enough because they want to be in your place. It's time to close the cycle of that because I feel like it does com cause conflict in your relationship because it fucks with your confidence at times and you're never a lack of confident type person but when it start to fuck with your head like that you do do self-sabotory shit look the sewer maid your sensuality is beautiful i gotta read this Okay, so the sewer man, it says, part of you that is natural and beautiful, most likely your body and appearance has been influenced by thoughts and ideas about being unworthy, unhealthy, or perhaps even dirty. I told you to. So a part of you has had to evolve and exist in a less than healthy way it is time to clean up your act not of your looks but of the way that you have thought about yourself something beautiful has been treated badly it is now up to you to begin to reframe your ideas and thoughts and therefore experiences of yourself, your body, your worth, your ability to attract others and to see yourself as worthy of love, respect, and consideration. Let the strong survivor mermaid show you how to love yourself and your appearance again and rise above the rubbish and the stink of the negative conditioning regarding your beautiful body and unique self. You are beautiful and very worthy of love. This is the only truth that must be told at this time. Like, so. Like I told you, it's. The environment, I really do feel like it's the person in this club, in this group, in this. I really feel like because this person is popular. It's the atmosphere that make you feel like because you, 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 you might hang around with some trash ass people like, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. Let's see. Let's clarify. But there's endings to something. There's endings. Because I feel like. If you feel like. You two are meant to be together. This man needs to. Understand how this environment. Affects your emotions. And if he can't do that. And separate that. Or. um, I don't know. I feel like you need to move on. You need to come out of the sewer. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's time to come out of the sewer. You, like, you're too beautiful to be down in 
dwelling with those type of energies. Like that's why, that's the only way that you can feel not good enough about yourself because to me you are beautiful. I, I don't, I just think you probably just don't need to be down there hanging with bottom dwellers. What is this? The Eight of Wands. The Fool in the Reverse. The Three of Wands. The Hermit. Okay. So, and then let me pull out. Clarifiers. Ace of Hearts. The Six of Hearts again. <laughs> like, I want me a new man. Fuck this shit. <laughs> I want me a motherfucker new man. So, listen. Um,. I feel like you might have laid something to rest here. Um, may have laid something to rest. It's like, baby, I just... Because you see how he's laying there sleeping and stuff like that. And you are setting up the mainframe. Because this is the Eight of Wands going into the Nine of Wands. So I feel like you're defending your territory. You know what I'm saying? In some sense. Um... I feel like you're defending your territory. Was all of this shit a fucking dream? Like, I like I don't know why. Because, look, she said, oh, I've had such a curious dream. We called him the tortoise because he taught us. I feel like... You guys may end up moving in with each other permanently for like I don't want to say like y'all moving in with each other for home security, but it's like I want you to understand that I love you. Like it's it's because remember I said that the girl was about to sabotage. You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, I had such a curious dream. I feel like. We don't need to be with each other. I don't feel like I'm enough. And this nigga is crying. He's like, man, I just bought you a fucking car. Like, I take you out on dates. Like, what the fuck am I not doing to make you feel like I don't love you and, like, I am not working my ass off? To, like, what the fuck are you? Are you high? Like, what the fuck? Like, uh, bitch, are you high? Do you be smoking in the car? Do you be smoking and driving? Like, what the fuck? Like, like, I give you everything. I give you everything. What am I not doing? What am I not saying? Like, what am I... You know, it's like... I feel like this man doesn't understand. And now you're making him feel like he's not good enough. And now I'm really getting to what the problem is. I feel like it's your friends and it's your... I feel like it's your friends and your environment. And I feel like it's his friends and his environment, too. I feel like the both of you guys may hang around... Street urchins. I'm sorry. Like, I really do because I want to say, like, with this Ace of Hearts here, because remember, this not enough is about self saboteur shit. I feel like this woman had a dream and she was thinking about walk away, and he's coming to her crying, like, listen, just listen to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, we called him Tortoise because he taught us. I feel like this man is going to show you the true definition of a man. Um, I don't feel like you made the wrong selection. I just feel like you didn't know what you were listening to. I feel like this person is working, trying to give you everything that you're asking for to show you that they love you. I feel like you're letting things around you allow you to be jealous, allow you to feel like you're not enough. I feel like you're letting this person's popularity to get into your emotions and things like that. Like, you are enough. You 
I really do feel like you guys are going to move in with each other. This man is comfortable with you. Like, and he knows that you're crazy. <laughs> you see your crazy ass there. Listen, do you see? I don't know if you are burning down lines of communication. Like, because this is the eight of wands going into the nine of wands. You know, the nine of wands is someone standing their ground like, Y'all can run up if y'all want to. Run up and get done up. I'll punch one of y'all bitches in y'all throat. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like your world is moving on. Like you guys could be moving into another chapter. You guys could be moving in with each other to a new location. Like, because I, like I told you, the Ace of Heart represents home. It represents home. This represents a male being in your home. Not wanting you to leave. It's like, I really do feel like, we need to teach each other. I don't, I don't feel like we need to push each other away. Like, let's move forward. Like, you know, this joker, I want to move forward with you. I want to work with you. I don't want other options. I want you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like this person is trying to select other options. Like, I want you. Like, why you keep trying to go somewhere for you know what I'm saying? Like, why you keep trying to go somewhere? Stop listening to what these people are saying. Like, you're allowing these people to cause drama in our relationship. The fool in the reverse. Stop listening to these people. Stop having faith into what these people are telling you in the streets. Have I gone anywhere? Don't I always be home? Like, you know, I just feel like, don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. Honor what your body needs. I, I don't feel under any circumstances that there's not love here. Like, I know for sure that this man loves the fuck out of you. What the fuck, Mo? The sewer maid, maiden right here in the hermit. I feel like I honor what my body needs. You need to sit down and think to yourself, like, number one, the people that I hang around, are they high vibrational? Are they in any positive relationships? The shit that my man does for me or that my woman does for me, do they have someone in their life to do that shit for them? So why am I listening to them? Why do I hang with these people? It's something about... I feel like elevation... I feel like there is going to be a powerful energy shift. I feel like the only reason why you feel like this is because you hang around trash. I feel like you guys are going to do away with this experience with these people. You guys may move in with each other to another location that's a little farther away. Like only certain people may know where you live. Because this is the three of wands going into the four of wands. Like these people are about to end up getting married with each other. It's like the best is yet to come. If y'all don't get the fuck, Mo. What the fuck? Yo, I gotta go. This is blowing me. But like the sun meets the moon. You guys were meant to be with each other for a reason. I feel like it's people that be hating on y'all relationships and, and don't want to see y'all happy. I feel like y'all need to hang around more positive people that really want to see y'all grow and do better with each other. Um, And I really do want to say also that, again, like this is y'all moving in to get with each other, like getting married and like commitment. I want to say just take it one day at a time and I want both of y'all to get out of each other's way because I want to say at one point in time you both made each other feel like each other wasn't enough because the people were out there with listen okay and I think that the both of you guys at this point right now realize that each other is enough and there's nothing else out there like, all y'all want is each other. So, it's like, just stop being a fool. Like, I bought this car so that we can ride out with each other. No more 808s of heartbreak. And that's another thing. Stop listening to that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? If you want positive love experiences in your life, you got to listen to... Po I got, oh, my God. Whoever the fuck this is texting me. They about to die. So, if I y'all don't get no fucking November from me, that's because I killed whoever the fuck kept calling me. All right, bye.